Hey everybody, it's Candy from the Candy Show and I'm here with a book review in my Candy Reads series. Actually it's Candy and Bruiser. My other two little beasts are sleeping here on the couch but Bruiser decided he wanted to be in this video because Pearl is always in my videos and he thinks just because he's big and she's little that's why. So anyway, here he is. This is Bruiser, the biggest of our three. My book is on A Game of Thrones by George R. Martin. Now, of course, many of you are probably watching this series on HBO. I have not watched any of the series. I'm waiting until I read the books, uh, and then I will go ahead and rent the series. I actually, I, th I feel like I've been living under a rock a little bit. He wants his chest rubbed. <laughs> um, typical man, you know, it's got to be done a certain way. I didn't even know about this series or about these books until I was ordering on line one day for a book that wasn't available uh, here in the store and on chapters online and there was um, you know kind of the recommended or the hot reads and it showed this series and I just read what it was about thought it was kind of cool so I went ahead and I ordered the whole series so so far I've only read this one book in the series the uh, Game of Thrones book uh, loved it loved it loved it loved it I have to say for those of you who haven't read it yet and are thinking of it give it time because when i first started it like the the opening the um, the prologue was really really good it was um you know very enticing i was like oh what's what's happening here you know and i got right into it but then once i got into it i got a little bit lost i felt like what, sorry what are there more than is there more than one dwarf like who there's so many names and i was getting the names kind of confused and I was kind of losing track on who, like, there seems to be two short guys, is what I was thinking at the beginning of the book. But once you get into it, you start to really, because, I, sorry, I hate to, um, I don't like to make notes when I'm reading a book, like, for pleasure. If I have to make notes, forget it, you know what I mean? So, what I found is as you got reading it, you started to know the characters well enough that you um, realized who everybody was. It was a slow spot at about three quarters of the way through the book. It got a little bit, uh, all right, kind of get on with the story, get on with the story. Uh, but then at the end, it really picked up again and sort of ended in a really suspenseful uh, place. And so I'm looking forward to going on to the second book, which I hope will pick up right where this one left off. Sometimes sequels leave a space in between, but I really hope in this case that the sequel is going to pick up, or book two in the series will pick up right where this one dropped off. You see what this dog is like? He doesn't want me to stop! Um, but yes, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it, if, if you're into fantasy, you will love it. I'm not a big fantasy person, but I'm a big period person, and there was enough period, um, like, you know, historical stuff in this that it made up for the amount of fantasy that we were dealing with and so i would definitely recommend <laughs> and bruiser do you recommend it do you recommend this do you recommend this book buddy <laughs> let's get up here uh yes bruiser also recommends in fact on the candy bruiser scale we give george r, r. martin's game of thrones mm, what do you think bruiser I think we give this a good solid 6.5 out of 10 on the candy scale. I'd give it somewhere between 6.5 and 7. Maybe when I'm done the whole series, I'll rate the whole series. Again, the premise of this, it is, it is fantasy based, but it also feels very historical. There's knights, there's lords, there's ladies, there's court gestures, and um, it is, as always, uh, a battle, which is why it's called Game of Thrones. It's a battle for who's going to take over the kingdom or the queendom, which, of course, we've been, you know, Europeans have been playing forever and started playing it on uh, our land when they got here, too. So it's that kind of a book, if you're into that kind of fantasy thing, a struggle uh, for power and dominance set in a fantasy slash historical world, you will absolutely love Game of Thrones. Uh, George R. R. Martin, Winter is Coming. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.